Alrighty guys, well, here we are, March 27th, just got done having some suppers, and it's pushing 8 o'clock, and sun's down now. You guys watched us, I said that that red, white face cow, that's a <clears throat> gonna calve, she calved. It only took her like an hour after we left Kral here. And she can be a real ornery biosh when she calves. She was watching me the whole time I was walking out here. Little black brockle face calf. What the hell's her number? Green. I can't make it out. 37. Green 37. And there's babies. I'm gonna have to get this screen on my camera fixed so it's not so blurry for you guys. Baby, I I actually saw her drop the calf from the house. I was kind of watching. Um, baby hasn't gotten up yet, but this is an experienced mom. She's been around for a while, and. I have no fears. As soon as baby gets up, she'll she'll put baby right where it needs to be in order to have, in order to suck and so on and so forth. So, anyway, so that's two for today. We'll find out tomorrow what it is. Talk to you guys then. Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing now? A little breezy here this morning. Not overly cold, temperature-wise, but that friggin' wind does have a bite to her. I must admit. Uh, just grabbing a bale here, one for the shredder, one I'm going to unroll, and yes, that cow last night that we put in, that red white face one that has attitude when she calves, she did calve, well, I guess you guys will see that, um, what did she have at this point, I don't know, I didn't get close enough to find out yet but that's gonna change here shortly she had a bull calf last year in 2020 she had a bull calf in 2019 she had a heifer calf in 2018 and I did point out the heifer calf that she had in 2018 because we still have it um, yeah so I guess we're gonna find out what it is this year I made the tag with the assumption that it is a heifer calf. How's that sound? And if it's not a heifer calf, well, shit happens and it, the calf is getting the wrong color of tag. Not the end of the world, right? Mm, so, here we go. Let's unroll this sucker. Now, tonight, according to the weather forecast, Tonight, the wind is supposed to be getting up to possibly as much as gusting of 80K. So, because these wind breaks, I've basically got one, two, three, four wind breaks in a straight row. That becomes a solid, like a friggin' wall, right? And then they become dangerous. When they're partable like this, they can flip over. I'm not going to deny that that they won't um, they can we've been fortunate that all of our wind breaks this year through all the crazy winds that we've had have not blown over but I always try to set them up back you up I always try to set them up in a half moon formation or a horseshoe type formation and that way they pry against each other and help hold each other up but when you get a straight wall or almost a straight wall and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here right away like this right here 
see how it becomes real straight across the back here more or less um, that's when you have troubles with these wind brakes when it's straight if it's not a straight wall you really won't have all that many issues but uh, when it is a straight wall you will have issues or potentially have issues let's put it that way so to alleviate that when the cows get put in the corral tonight they ain't gonna be let out simple they're going to be uh, locked in there and for water we'll open up the gates so they can go into what we call our calving calving barn corral that's where that crazy bitch is and uh, they'll get water from in there we'll give them access to the inside of the barn area I'm guessing we'll yeah we'll probably give them access as long as they don't all try crowding in there and I don't think they will and uh, yeah they'll have lots of room to move, move around and hopefully a bunch of the cows that had babies will be the ones that go into the barn area to get away from the wind now what I was getting at with these wind brakes I'm actually tonight I'm actually gonna take a bunch of either green feed or slough hay bales and I'm gonna put them against this back wall of these wind brakes to on the bases to add weight to those bases so I don't have a problem with them tipping over simple as that right anyway let's get this freaking bale unrolled and let these girls out of here and then deal with that calf that was born off that red white face green 37 so we'll talk to you guys later all righty guys well there she is she's now a green 37 and it is a heifer uh mom is right there on the other side of the corral i managed to get her out of here close the gate and that psycho bitch that put us in the round bale feeder slash shark cage right there is right there so i wouldn't stand there gate's going that way here we go is it gonna be rodeo time this goofy fucking thing moo moo cow <laughs> oh yeah call your baby that's a girl call him come on come and get your baby you goofy biosh okay we got baby all tagged out she's right there and i'm marking her in the book as a possible keeper I got companies. JR's welding is here. He needs welding lessons, is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, these girls are fed and dealt with, so off to something else. Now, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Go. There it is, guys. There's Wade. He got her. He drove down here to visit us and. Uh, there it is. Get your heart out, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> and some of you will recognize that ugly face, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're just having a couple. Anyway, we'll bring you guys back later. Babe, smile. You're on candid camera. But you're not using your gun, goddammit. Her gun's not sighted. Look at these two guys, friggin' smacking gophers. Gotta enjoy that, gotta enjoy it. It's Sunday afternoon, you gotta enjoy friggin' taking a couple gophers now and then. Lo and behold, they have no idea what CP can do with a dead gopher. I think they're staying for supper. Hmm. <laughs> 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 what do they say? Some people eat freaking squirrel? Yeah. Well, what's a gopher? It's like a squirrel. Yeah. It's called a Richardson ground squirrel. <laughs> mm, so. Really good gravy. 
<laughs> okay, I'll eat the gravy. You guys can have the squirrel. <laughs> you didn't see the eagle, though, did you? The big, bald-headed eagle? He was here yesterday. Well, he was here for the past almost a week now. But I didn't see him this morning when I was feeding cows or nothing either. So Last year, we had six of them. There's another bastard right over there. They're all behind your truck. And I can't shoot. I don't feel comfortable shooting over your truck. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just enjoying having uh, Wade and Rob over. Look at that fantastic friggin' hoodie that's on there. Look at that. The nice big flying seven. It's breezy. It is definitely breezy. That's for damn sure. So, anyway, guys, we'll let you go. We'll talk to you later. Well, here we go. We're gonna. Looks like Robbie's gonna get his bike. As long as I don't drop the son of a bitch on his dad's truck, that wouldn't be very nice of me, now would it? She's basically in there now. We'll bring you guys back after. There we go. Got her. There we are, guys. Me and my fucking finger in the way there. <laughs> uh, so, congratulations, sir. Thank you very much for the win for winning that thing. You got it all. All the questions right. So, another, another happy, another happy uh, subscriber, guys. Uh, so. <laughs> Rob, thanks for coming out. Fuck yeah, thanks for having us. You got your bike. <laughs> there it is, all strapped down. Oh, so the boys are getting ready to take off. Yeah. And me, I gotta go feed some cows and deal with them goofy things. So, <laughs> anyways, we'll catch you guys here in a little bit. Alrighty, guys. So we got a bunch of bales along the backside of these wind brakes all the way around. It's getting dark out here now, that's for sure. Thanks, babe. She brought me my nighttime spectacles so I can see, because we've got a cow in here that we think is gonna calve. So we're gonna try getting her into the barn before this storm comes. Ought to be interesting in the dark. You think you got her in already? Yeah. Oh. It's pink seven, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her number. Seven. Well, let's look the rest of them over and go from there. Like this red bitch. Who's that? That's my cow. Okay. So we're going to look these girls over closer here. And we'll bring you guys back a little bit later. Alrighty. Well, we got the cows all locked up. We got bales put on the backside of the wind brakes. And on the bases of the backsides, just in case this wind gets to be as bad as they say it's going to be. Shouldn't need it, but... with it won't, the, it won't happen since we've got it done. Probably. But that's with that okay. big, long wall, that that's where those wind breaks may falter. If it's in a standard horseshoe, half-moon formation, they won't move. You guys have seen that from the last big, ugly windstorm. But they're saying tomorrow we could see upwards of 100k wind again. So better to be safe than sorry, especially since we got baby calves on the ground. And right now, if a windbreak falls over and lands on top of a baby calf, I don't want to have to. I don't want that to happen, right? So um, 
Wade and Rob McWhirter, Rock and Robbie's Roadhouse. If you guys haven't checked in with Rock and Robbie's Roadhouse, get over there and get check in with him and uh, subscribe to his videos. Um, his dad, Wade, was the grand prize winner of our giveaway. And so he got one of our hoodies. We gave him a zip-up style hoodie. And it fit him to a T. He really enjoys it. Once he put it on, I don't think he took it off. Did he? No. He Thanks wore for it. coming out. Yeah. I think he wore it through supper even. Yeah. Yeah. He never took it off. Not once. He enjoyed it that much. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so enjoyed their... They got out here right around 1230. And they spent the afternoon with us. And then we had supper together and had a few brewskis. Wobbly pops, you know how that goes. Shot a few gophers. It was a good afternoon, guys. Anyways, uh, yeah, so you never know when BCP is going to do another giveaway. Um, so if you want to get in on our giveaways when they happen. Keep watching. You got to subscribe. You got to watch. And... Uh, Keep it in tune with what's happening out here at the BCP farm and trucking and crazy ass ranch. How's that sound? <laughs> with these crazy ass cows that we've been dealing with lately. Yeah. We put two in the barn for the night. The one, I don't know. I don't think she'll do it. The other one, if she doesn't do it tonight, she's definitely going to do it tomorrow morning. Yeah. She's uh, really filled up heavy, heavy. And, uh, yeah, she's looking a little restless, so. But anyway, hopefully she'll have twins, right? That'd be awesome. That would be awesome, because she's an awesome cow, actually. Yeah. So, with all that, guys, comment, thumbs up, like the video, comment, subscribe, hit that little chime bell, gives you the notification when we're posting a new one. Fun, 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 from BP and CP. Let's get her done. Have a good night.